Hey guys, we are Nick and Madison and we just checked into our Best Western Premier Waterfront Hotel in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. First impressions, this place is very nice. As implied in the name, we are right on the water, so plenty of boats going by, lots of activities, plenty to do. We are just dropping off our bags, excited to explore all this community has to offer. Awesome. It's Fresh really neat curds. to <laughs> really we neat just to watch them make it. Yeah, learn and see how they make it. Mm. Very neat. Thanks, Wisconsin. We are in downtown Oshkosh at their farmer's market. And what better way to get a taste of a local community than coming to their farmer's market? All sorts of local artisans are featured here, local foods. I mean, my eyes are eating everything I'm seeing. Planes are so vibrant, uh -huh. unique in every way. Uh huh. Very vintage. And it's hard to believe that at one point these were like modern aircrafts that, like, you see what we fly in today. But this is where it all began. This is where it all started. When you think of Wisconsin, you're probably thinking of beer, dairy products, or football. But believe it or not, Wisconsin is becoming a booming wine region, with over 80 wineries scattered across the state. And the best part, most wineries are only a few hours drive from Milwaukee or Madison, making for the perfect road trip. So we just picked up our flight of six. It's only $10. You get to try all these beautiful wines. They have 24 to choose from. You have white, red, your rosé and fruit, and of course, specialty. So we picked the ones that looked appealing to us, and we're excited to give them a try. What do you think, Nick? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Perfect balance of sweetness, just like me. Aww. We are so excited to be trying our first ever supper club. These have really become a cornerstone of Wisconsin culture. It's not so much about the food, but more about the conversation and the community you will find behind these doors. There are 200 plus of these in Wisconsin. So what do you say? Why don't we go give it a try? Supper clubs are associated with road trips and vacations, while most of them are on lakes or in forest clearings, and Jim and Linda's particularly is on Lake Winnebago, perfect for boaters and anyone who wants to drive up to it. And historically, supper clubs are known for their fried chicken and their freshly caught perch, and after a couple years, these taverns, resorts, and dance halls have totally transformed and have become staples in the community. Now you can find your Friday fish fry, your Saturday prime ribs, or on Sundays, roasted chicken. They have lots and lots of food. I could eat everything on this menu. Okay, the soup is so amazing. The soup is to die for. If this Love is it. just the beginning. We are in, we are in for, for something treat. special. <laughs> Chicken Romanoff with the twice baked potato. There's nothing like homestyle cooking. Chicken, potatoes, cheese. It has my name written all over it. It's time for breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Yes, <laughs> and it's really nice because the restaurant is right at the hotel on the waterfront. So mm -hmm. we're outdoors right now, enjoying the view. <laughs> Cheers.
Breakfast was delicious. Unfortunately, we are ready for checkout, but we had such a great time. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad to be checking out already. It has been truly a great time. And if you're not in this neck of the woods, you're in luck. Wisconsin has 40 best westerns scattered across the state. Oshkosh is definitely on my radar now, needs to be on yours, and I can't wait to come back.